Hello and welcome to Hot Time 4. We are playing the vanilla game here. No mods. So that is just the DLCs. That is Waking the Tiger, Together for Victory, um, Man the Guns, and La Resistance. I think that's all of them I've got. I haven't got Death or Dishonor, so I'm not sure whether that would actually affect what I'm about to do. Anyway, we're going to play United Kingdom because I've played those for ages. Uh, we're going to play on regular with historical AI focuses on and well we're gonna go through the startup of a particularly non-historic historic game if that makes sense and you'll have to excuse me if my phone goes because that'd be my boss uh, anyway let's get these sorted out let's get the armies uh, into groups and just single those two out. Put those on a different theatre. Which will be that for now. Oh, hold on. No, not quite finished. Uh, get rid of cavalry there. And. Infantry there, please. Same for you. Okay. Uh, right. That is it, really, for the army. Oh, no, clicking down there is not how to do this next bit. This next bit, you need to click on there. Okay, and just with your shift button held down, start selecting everything that is there. That's a lot of clicking, but that's a lot of fleets, so they're all there, let's bring them all back to Portsmouth in the UK, uh, that's not what I wanted to do, let's go over to the aerial, or airfields, or air force actually, shift again, let's start selecting those that we need, not these, they're on the carriers, they will not be pleased if you nick their aircraft aircraft carrier without any aircraft is just a carrier and that would do okay so let's bring them all back to blighty and we will sort them out there okay army navy kind of sorted out right let's start off on industry so production construction uh, yep, mechanical computing and land doctrine. Okay, we'll go with what we know because what we've got going on here is a research bonus from our dominions and colonies. So that will give us bonuses out there on top of what uh, we shall see vaguely. We'll see some of their. Um, I'm thinking technologies actually appear on our, our on our tree when we do a different decision. So, civvies to start off with, their military ones, and let's go to these, and we will accept all of those. However, I've been in the tanks, been in the fighters, and I can do it, and binning the bombers. Uh, right, as you can see, there's loads of ships there. Not helpful. Uh, Seriously, not helpful. Okay, let's just reduce them just a bit because this list is extensive, as you can see. We will be adding and refitting our ships, so this will make life easier. Uh, right, I'm not going to add convoys at this stage because when I get the prompt, I will do it then. I will sort out these though, so one, three, three, and those remaining up there. Right, the focus, if you're not aware, this is a massive focus for the British. Uh, okay, limited rearmament, that is your vanilla game mechanics there, and your colonies are actually split up into two sections, so if you want to alter, your colonial um, 
pulses on that side if you want to kind of reinforce them and do uh, the standard this is on this side on here you've got your political stand so uh, stitch as she goes leads to home defense which is the classic one do you do uh, global defense I'll come back to that in a second uh, then you've got change of course so you've got the monarchist uh, uh, sources there the, sorry tree branches that you can actually do the black shirts with Oswald Mosley and the communists on that side right we are going to be going down here because uh, steady she goes only 35 days leads to global defense air bases primarily around the world okay we're going to get rid of the re national spirit war to wendell wars because that's particularly heavy on you and we're going to then do a motion of no confidence uh, can't do those not yet but here we go the war to wendell wars is there we really need to get rid of that so let's start that off and i will explain further why we are going down that particular route uh, right, I think speed 5 is necessary, and yeah, we'll have the factories actually just do a few things to start off with. Um, okay, let's go. Well, our navy sorts itself out. Uh, 205, you're going to say there should be more. Okay, now if we do this, just merge them all. Oh, there are some more. Is that it? I think that's it. Okay, sorry, I'm doing the wrong thing there. King George V dies, unfortunately. Um, I need to do that again, just bring them all into one. They can come over there at the same point. Okay, we are carrying on there. Right, all the aircraft are back. Just sort them out into little groups like that, just merge them all with that one and proceed. Okay. Need to do a couple of things with this massive fleet. Okay, all the submarines out for a start. Just organize them and let's get these doing this. Now, these are a bit of a mess. So we've got trained carriers and we've got untrained and it's kind of the similar story all the way down with different ships so we'll just grab everything that we can ah there's gonna be tons i bet the royal navy that's not a good thing And you're probably thinking, kind of, why have we got all of these ships just untrained? Um, because you're in between wars and they're just, they know how to get out of the port, they know how to sail around, but are they actually trained in combat? No. Well, they probably are trained in combat, but not to the extent that we want them. Um, there's bound to be some more, and yes, there is. Sorry, this is the tedious bit. Hey, what do you mean it's all tedious? Uh, but that's not all of them. So, look, no, I don't think it was. And even that, I bet that's not all of them. No, just happened to be a load of cruisers in the middle. I'm probably double clicking actually, just leaving them there. I think that's it. Okay, so that fleet we will not touch. This one we will train up, and this one we will train up. Um, Let's let them get all together. They are all together. Okay, let's start training them. However, that's going to impact our fuel. So. Let's just do this. Uh, where's my trade? Okay. British Malaya will ask you. We'll give these a factory for a while. And then um, we'll ask the United States for, I don't know, three factories, something like that. 
that's going to impact that. Dockyards, uh, right, convoys, two please. And next. Uh, yes. Oh, we've got two more already. Okay, fair enough. So if you add your dockyards on this side, if you want to increase the amount, it's on that side. I don't think they're all one, that's fine. Okay, they're, uh, they're gonna add up there, that's fine. We'll have a secondary fleet that we actually train up. And as you can see, we're running out of fuel. Remilitarization of the Rhineland is going on, so we are gonna issue an objection. What will happen? Nothing. I think we can actually stop these now, so let's just make sure. Yeah, they should be okay. Let's put those back. Identify them as an aircraft carrier group, and then we carry on with these. And then when it comes to it, we will do the same with our aircraft. And yeah, we can actually do it now, that's fine. More naval dockyards, two again, that's fine. Just increase those, put them out there. Um, whoops, it's not what I wanted, it's that I wanted. If they're severely damaged, it will actually take them longer to get fully trained, well not fully trained, but trained to the level that you want. Okay, uh, let's do that. They are nearly ready, mostly. They are now. Except him, because he was a late arrival. Okay, they are fair enough. We've got naval experience. Now we will actually use it. And these look to be our largest selection of submarines. Being level one. Okay, go here into the design. Uh, duplicates. My warfare, if you don't mind. then do this okay that's going to give all those naval dockyards back what have we got going on all oh, right yeah not a problem really we'll sort that out in a second and we're doing here is cooking the books. Okay we've got, so you could actually go for this guy now but as soon as you've done has not completed focus no further appeasement you lose him so don't waste your money. Okay, use it on this guy when it comes to it but don't do that not yet. He needs to train up some of those are, so let's put them back up there. We did actually stop all those, didn't we? Good. Right, now. Let's get these trained. Working properly. Okay. All right. Once they're trained, I'll get them all in the same area. There are islands. Let's just clarify that because it's going to get confusing otherwise. Ah, uh, I'll have him. 
Pro. And Harold Alexander with Montgomery. Oh, we can do that already. I'm going to have to wait for more for manpower for the other one. Right, what have we got going on here? Um, I'm going to click that just to kind of just annoy his Germans. And now the rest of my colonies and dominions will be actually going down that road. But we're going to be doing this because we are prone, so we're going to get bombed. How does he know these things? Well, because he's played this before. Okay, we now have political power, so let's go up to early mobilization. That will give us more factories on here, well, eventually anyway. Um, I can actually start reducing that fuel amount of trade, so we'll just get our factories back. And then I'm going to use those factories that appear on there, here. SIS. Okay. I'm not going to mind at that. Ah, we've got one done. Okay. Carry on. Uh, what's going on there? I've never seen that before. Okay. We've still got a deficit, that's fair enough. Okay, we've got dockyards now back. Um, I don't think we've got enough to actually do the next thing that I want to do on our destroyers, so I'll put those well, back on there. All right, just need to keep an eye on things now, so. Like that, that's done. And all those, thank you. He snuck in there, and then those four can join there. Uh, right, what do we need to do next? Um, well, quite a few things actually. I'm still doing that. Right, I want the hurricane and I want a scout plane, so if you ask for it nicely, it will appear. Okay, SIS has been created and we have got the abdication crisis, okay, but we gain stability from this, so that is a good thing. What we need to do now is form the department. And again, that is a lot of factories that's now being taken out of our use. So it's not so good at this point, but oh, here we go. King Edward abdicates, so we get King George the Six. Whoops, when it stops moving around. Thank you. So we can't go any further here because we have not got Neville Chamberlain there. So we're going to come back. Uh, we'll do limited rearmament for now. Uh, I don't think we can actually progress any further because we need that over 5%. And we're getting an agent when it comes to it. Here we go. Um, right. Look at the interesting ones down at the bottom. I'm going to go for pop off. Let's get him going to Germany, get an intelligence network setting up there, and let's get that cipher decrypted. Um, I'm going to do that because I think on our own country there was, there looks to be some activity there. And that is Spain, okay. Um, what are we doing? Uh, we're doing that. So let's do that at the same time. Uh, free dockyards. Yep, again, can't do a lot with them. So do that. How much?
much time that actually saves you in the process I have no idea let's get these moved back and now we will ask them all to come to one particular place on the map not just three divisions thank you okay control B those are not traveling by C so that they get there quicker okay we've still got the deficit going on at the moment so let's come back on here and let's just do this because that actually will help capturing anybody in the area but they probably moved to Spain now so maybe not so much of an issue okay might need to start is a couple of things I need anti-air uh, our rifles should actually catch up but I'm gonna do that just get them going This guy now, our war industrialist, and then we will just swap one of those out so we actually get him working on that as a benefit. Okay, um, yeah, can't do that because we have got the war tension, so we will reinforce the empire. no divisions of basic training that is not an issue because I'm gonna hit this guy with these all being changed out to our really good well I say really good but they're not they will need reinforcements and slight tweaking to make them better um, I'm gonna do that get some decryption Once they've got all their equipment, I'll start a bit of training with them. And yeah, that's not too bad. That should actually improve at the same time. Portugal seeks to purchase British ships. Nope, we're not interested. They may be, we're not. Uh, right, let's get a few. Oh, hold on. Let's get a few basic things that you've done. Maintenance. Uh, we, we're actually in the lead there, so Germany's not doing anything about it. So if they were, that would also be five. Uh, right, we can actually do this. We gain another agent at that point. Let's go for our encryption. Can't get this guy to do everything out there that I want him to do because he needs to build an intelligence network and somebody else actually needs to work with him uh, to do what I need to do. How are we going with those? Okay, let's just bring these out. And I know what you're thinking why are you doing that? And just because I want them all to a particular level, I don't want them fully trained. Doing that, and to be honest, we ought to be working on our industry again. Get that production up. It's about the same. That's fine. Service overseas. One hundred percent stability. Nice to see. It won't last. Okay, I think we can actually start training troops up. So, oops, let's go for five at a time and put them there. Another agent. Who are we going to have? Who can we have? Uh, Mary Mundy. A cheeky smile. 
and put you at work in Germany because she's a propaganda expert uh, so that suits my purposes hmm. uh, okay theatre and then we just split them that will work kind of uh, who do I want? I want this guy because he's uh, green water specialist Together, who's gonna work out here? Yeah, damage. He's bold, that'll do. Oops. Uh, Cunningham. And yeah, we need to get that up again. from that so it's not too much of an issue. These are just done. It's fine. Uh, right, okay. They can sit there for a while. Right, nine days. So we've got that. this guy and put him out there now if we just glance at this I've got two agents working on propaganda out there one of them has got a bonus but as you can see for foreign propaganda when that builds up it will have an effect on their stability and their war support so they won't be able to deploy as fast and it's all good for us um, how many ships have we got? Oh, not ships, naval documents. Got a few. But if we get that out of the way, we can do our next ship. They've been built up. Nice. Those to there. Okay, we're still working on fulfilling our orders. So they will come eventually. Right, service overseas is done. However, we are six percent now, so we can do this. It's not going to give us factories to start off with, but it will do in the longer term. When we go to war, we get four factories. Okay, um, I'll wait until we've actually got that, and then we'll go for our theorist, I think, then. 
that we do need to get actually go up on our manpower level. And here we go. Okay, we no longer ever get the effects of that. So well, we're at 100% stability already. That's fine. Let's just put those to there. Not too sure why he's now not got that going on, but. They've actually met us there, so let's do that again. Let's annoy the hell out of them. Okay, uh, too early for those. Hold on, I was going to do this. So let's do it. Ah, right, we've got our naval experience now. So what I want to do now is just alter some of our destroyers. Uh, VW looks to be a big class. So let's grab those. Just redesign them, well, alter them slightly. I don't think there's any radar, no. Nineteen points, that'll do. Did you actually hmm. can't remember now? actually doing the duplicate button on there but must have just done it automatically. So look, yep. There we go. So that's gonna be those that's trained up. Uh, what we need to do is just alter that and I'll take that down because I don't need the arc royal not yet. How we're looking there. There's only one that's actually been repaired, that's fine. Uh, hold on, hold on. Hold your horses, please. Let's put those back on there. Okay, I don't think we need any other resources or whatnot at this stage. We've got that going on. We could do that because that would be good for fire detection. Okay, he's done. Sure, why not? Oh, too early for that. And it's too early for that. Let's do that. Okay, I can put those out with him. Portugal, seriously. Right, okay, yep, yeah, we are still doing that. Uh, how many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, yep, yeah, that's fine at the moment. Let's just have a look at them. They're now 6.7. Wow, 
we won't keep on looking at it just in case they are watching our stream. Uh, ooh, okay, let's up it again. We have a war of words going on. Uh, now, uh, guarantee. So we need world tension at 25%. Okay. hitting my manpower soon so I'm gonna have to do a couple of things need them points for it <clears throat> he's done he's done now because we've got some Rolls there. What do we got? Concealment and smoke screen. Nothing for him. And he's just got green water experts, so okay. Quite there yet for the one that I want because it's going to be, I think, infantry expert just to get it in the bag. Uh, right, where are we? We are. Hmm. Oops. We'll start that. Oh, hold on. We won't start that. We are getting Neville Chamberlain, so we... Oh, hold on. Can't do it because I'm already doing that one. There we go. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Don't want that. Oh, that's also not what I want. That's what I want. Ah, uh, right. I will get Pop off to actually try and rescue that guy. Well, can, she can still do the the mission. Um, that's what I wanted. Yeah, we've got plenty of arms and one that's fine. And the air is coming, so it are our scout planes. Nice. I was going to say, have we lost the music there, but apparently not. They're repairing, that's fine. I'm going to get around some of these. Get them changed out, and then we'll do the same here. Okay. Right, we're fine there. We're fine there. Japan declared war on China. Of course they did. Of course they did. Okay, now I need to pop my support equipment, artillery, tow down to air and fighters, kind of in that order. Right, 161 days. We've done those. A bit too far ahead for that. There's no bonuses on those. Got both aircraft that I need at the moment. Ah, uh, we could do that. Oh, 
seriously? That's the guy that I sent in to rescue the other guy. Ah, he's forced into hiding, okay. So we're gonna have to rely on this lady to do the job. Okay, fair enough. If I get him working out there just on intelligence, then pop off when he comes back in 39 days, he can work at home. That sounds familiar. And we'll do that. And that. Okay, troops. Free civil infantry is nice. Not that one, that one, and I think that one. Eighty percent areas. And some more in those areas. Okay. Is that working? Yeah, it is. That's fine. Uh, right. Now, you guys. We've got this coming up. So we've got a bit of preparation to do now. That gives us Churchill back. Well, not back, but brings him into the government earlier. By which time we do this. Uh, no, at that point I can actually just leave them there. But I do need to sort out my navy. HMS Glasgow is having problems. Okay, um, they've been trained out. That's f I will let them just update themselves. Good. Five days, he's back. Cool. So he can work on the counterintelligence at the moment. Uh, at which point we'll do that. Yeah, it's going to eat into my supply of factories, but well, we're fine. from both of those fleets and then I will start sectioning them off to what I want around the world. Ooh, okay, Portugal seeks to purchase British ships again. We say no. Is this because this is going on? Not sure. going to go up to the next stage here just to get it in the bag and our war support has gone up so can we do oh sorry I'm reading that wrong I, th I was thinking that was war support for a second if not it's world tension in it damn it it's that that I need to be higher 
but this is carrying on, which is good for us. It does mean that we're going to draw that line in the sand. So we are going to do now, kickstart the war industry. As we get another research slot, just grab that. And what artillery is on the way. Nice. Okay, what do we need now? Those are being done. Maintenance company is being done. Air doctrines. Yeah, okay. Oh, hold on. Do we do that? Or that? doing this though when I can find it not quite there uh, support equipment yeah I'm gonna grab those factories still three more. I don't want to get them lost, that's the thing. Uh, but who are we going to have out where? I think, well, no, not like that. Uh, who are these? Italian forces out here. Um, okay, I'm going to get rid of that because we've got all of our naval dockyards actually working. Yeah, tow down to here and support equipment at the moment. All very necessary. We're doing on time. We're doing. I'm going to be doing these in kind of a bulk session uh, today um, because I've got the time today bought so it's going to mean a couple of episodes that you'll probably see um, but I can't react to any notifications or messages but the cipher for German Reich is done so let's just click on getting Italy's done what else have we got going on there? I think we're fine at the moment. I want everything to build up at home. Okay, he's okay. So, could I actually destabilize their government again if I put him back? Or do I keep him as my rescue agent? Mm, it's dicey. I mean, it's sixteen percent. So I mean, that, that foreign propaganda it will be doing them no good whatsoever. Okay, if he gets caught, it's my fault. I do agree. All right, we can't 
do that, can we? Or can we? I uh, know it's like 450 that I need. Uh, anti air. And we're just under half. Okay, I'm going to have to be patient, I suppose. I don't do patient. Okay, we're on limited conscription. We're on there. Um, yeah, we really need industrial stuff coming back to us. I think that would actually help us out on those. Is there anything that we're actually missing now? We could do that just to get it on the go. Cool. As you can see, that's way too far ahead. And anti-tank also would be nice and then we'll go back to our industrial efforts okay so what I'm going to do here now is we've got 70 days now before this actually finishes and then we get war goals against what well, puppet and conquer focuses against Iraq Iran and Netherlands so I need to do a couple of things now if you just bear with So we need to give him a front line, absolutely smallest front line probably going, just to do that. While we're in this territory, we will ask the Raj, hold on, we'll do that, ask him for some troops, thanks. they can be on that border with Iraq give them that job he can do that the remainder of them so six sure uh, not there get the right country does help Richard O'Connor he can do that And let's just roam around the board. Um, hold on. Ask for that first. And I'll put those in a new theatre. Cells as I just grab all the forces from everywhere. Let's have them working on that front line. William Slim, you're the man. Let's have them in the right theatre then. Um, divisions that work we'll have them in Ethiopia uh, where else have we got we've got South Africa uh, they can go with him still not gonna have enough cavalry with him that's not bad uh, doesn't mean that we've got those uh, right yes okay I'm gonna grab two of those though uh, what am I doing I 
he's got pretty good attack. I want somebody that's an all round. Uh, yeah, Miles Dempsey, he'll do. Let's get these moving over there. Gold. You are going to be dealing with these guys from here to here. Okay, and you're thinking, okay, why are you doing that? Because this territory belongs to Netherlands and it has 53 as oil. So it's quite good. Uh, right, yeah, I think everything troop wise is fine. I need to sort out my navies. So, great, oh, I've done it again. Start a new fleet that way. Select. Not like that. Still selected. Okay, without everything. Courageous. Nelson. Uh, a couple of cruisers. screen. Right, this is courageous, so they're going to be working out in the med, so we'll have them come out here, and they can be with, oops, no, not him. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Actually, I should have picked cunning up for this job, but never mind. That would have been technically correct. Um, right. Oh, I've, seriously, I've done it again. Get off. Uh, where do I select all? I can't select all. Oh, it's going to just do it instantly. Yep, I don't want that. Get back with that. That's stupid, you can't actually undo it. Or maybe you can. Um, yeah, Eagle. Valiant. Couple of cruisers. Couple of light cruisers. And destroyers. They're going to be out in the Far East. With Tovi. Okay. Right, your job is to get out here, sir. And what have we got left? We've got Furious on there, so Cruisers. That was actually battle cruiser. We're not going to need that, I don't think. And then a screen defense. That would do. That would be a new theater. And give those to Bruce Fraser. They can be out here. I can move to Trinidad. Okay. are going to be on convoy raiding in those areas. These are going to be a strike force just there. Can't do those not yet. They're going to do that. Let's get these with another guy. Actually, I should have picked him for out of the Far East, but never mind. Okay, we can do the 
convoy escorting role. So we just do that, just protect them. And I need one of them as a strike force and then one of them as naval invasion support. And I will fill that in when I get the troops in the right area. Okay, that is looking good, I think. Where are we with our troops? They are all saying, do whatever. Right, we need these back here though, that's the thing. So let's let everybody get into the right places. You're still with him, he's fallen ill. Because apparently that's what you do when you get an assignment. Ouch, she has been captured. Uh, yeah, let's get this guy out there then. So he now does that there instead. Yep. Because that is having an effect on them. 18%. Ouch. No wonder they're going after my guys and girls. Uh, how are we doing on time? Yeah, okay. It's the 8th of February 1938 and we'll probably have to leave it for this particular episode. Uh, you can join me on the next one and see what we get up to uh, because things look very standard so far but we are doing this which will start a war in the next episode. I do promise. Anyway, like, comment and subscribe if you'd like to and I will see you next time. See you later. Bye.